Hi guys, are you ready for passive voice? I know passive voice can be a challenge for you. And maybe you wonder why all the English teachers are so obsessed with passive voice. It's not just because we love to make you write sentences upside down. It's just believe me, because passive voice is frequently used in English. So let's dive in and get started. When do we use it? That's the first point we are going to deal with. In fact, there are several reasons why, but the most important ones are. Number one, you don't know who or what did the action. For example, the bank has been robbed. It's obvious who did the action. Barsenas was arrested, of course, by the police. Third use is when a process is being described. And in this sense, passive voice is highly used in scientific tests. For example, in this study, an electric scooter will be presented. In a nutshell, we use the passive voice when we are more interested in the object rather than the subject itself. So, there is a change in the focus of the sentence and a change in the emphasis too. The second point is form. In any passive sentence, you will have the subject, the verb to be, plus past participle. And we use the passive in nearly all the tenses, with infinitives and with modal verbs too. Another element used in the passive voice is the agent. And for that, we use by plus noun or pronoun. The Bridgertons is narrated by Julie Andrews. Amazing, isn't it? But only when we want to say who did the action. However, in some cases, it is not worth mentioning who did the action. To say by him or by her or by people is pointless. Members of that gang were arrested. But before analyzing the transformation of the passive void that will be our third point, let me have just a quick reminder. To transform a sentence, an active sentence, into a passive one, you need a transitive verb. I mean, you need an object. Because if the action is described by an intransitive verb, it's impossible to have a sentence in passive voice. Let's have an example. People call synesthesia a gift. Synesthesia is the object of the sentence. In passive, synesthesia becomes the subject and you say, synesthesia is called a special gift. Okay, by the way, synesthetes hear colors, feel sounds and taste shapes. A special gift, isn't it? Talking about objects, we should mention a specially used in English that does not happen in Spanish at all. Let me show you, but I think the best way is to do it by means of a diagram. Some active sentences can have a direct and an indirect object. These often use verbs like give, lend, pay, promise, send, bring, offer, show or tell. When we make these sentences passive, either of the two objects can become the subject. The only difference is that when the indirect object comes after the passive verb, we add either two or four. And this use is far more common, so we as Spaniards need to make an effort to use this structure. For instance, hospitals offer patients virtual visits to comfort them when in hospital. You can say virtual visits are offered to patients to comfort them or patients are offered virtual visits to comfort them. Okay. Now let's move on to the nitty-gritty of the transformation. In transforming the sentence from active to passive, remember that we maintain the same tense. Shout, we are not dealing with report speech. They release hundreds of series on Netflix. Hundreds of series are released on Netflix. But you will take the following steps. Once the subject and the object of the active voice are identified, move the object to become the subject of the passive sentence. 
Next, identify the tones of the active voice. This move is really important because once you know, you have to conjugate the verb to be in the same tense. And then, add the past participle of the main verb after the verb to be. Finally, the subject of the active sentence becomes the agent of the passive one with by. But remember what I told you before. You can include it or not, depending on how concrete you want to be. But again. I know, you are right. Let's share a few examples together. As all the tenses can be used, as I, as I told you before, nearly all, in passive structure, have a look at the ones that I offer you in this chart, but I will focus on the most important ones. Pick one with present continuous. Moderna is testing the coronavirus vaccine with many volunteers. The coronavirus vaccine is being tested by Moderna with many volunteers. As you can see, in the active sentence, the verb test is in present continuous. So, to transform the sentence into the passive, use the verb to be in present continuous, is being. And the main verb in active test changes into past participle in the passive, tested. And shall we include the agent? I think so, because the subject of the active refers to a biotechnology company and because there are some more I will include it in the passive, by Moderna. They have chosen the Canadian artist The Weeknd to perform in the Super Bowl 55 halftime show. The Canadian artist The Weeknd has been chosen to perform in the Super Bowl 55 halftime show. And reflecting on the process of transformation, we can draw the following conclusion. One, the object of the active, the Canadian artist, becomes the subject of the passive. The verb choose in present perfect in the active changes into the form of the verb to be has been. And the main verb choose is used in past participle, chosen. And we do not include by them because it's not necessary. In the case of modal verbs, the transformation is the same. And I think I would dare to say that is quite easy. Have a look at the chart and let's share one example. Twitter couldn't trace those racist comments. Those racist comments couldn't be traced by Twitter. I don't want to be so tiresome, so please feel free to pause the video and you can have a look at a few more examples with other tenses. Yes! The practice is your turn. I'll give you a few questions to transform from active into passive. I have left questions for the end because I know they are quite harder, but I'm sure you can. Question number one. Will the Senate impeach Trump? Think about it. Did you say, will Trump be impeached by the Senate? Congratulations. But sorry, apparently not. Question number two. Why do people celebrate St. Valentine's Day? What do you think? Did you say, why is St. Valentine's Day celebrated? Perfect. <laughs> the last example sounds better in passive voice. It's time to go. I hope you find this video useful and as you can guess after watching the video, the passive voice is quite common in English and you will see it in many signs such as these ones. Unauthorized bikes will be removed. English is spoken. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Help is wanted. No smoking in this area. You reverse the video, you can see that we have analyzed three aspects of this structure. First, we have analyzed the use, secondly, the form, and the last point has been transformation from active into passive. There will be two more videos to help you get off the hook with the passive voice. Keep posted with our videos at Prendo in Casa.
Se los espera en los próximos vídeos.